Today we feed one of my newer additions, my Mexican black king snake. I've had her for several months now, and she, like almost all other king snakes, has a huge appetite. But I wanted her to go into the light, so I let her over here, and then... There we go. She very dramatically strikes and wraps it. Being a king snake, she's full of drama. But she eats really well, so she should grow really fast for me. Now, king snakes have the defense mechanism, which I call the default defense mechanism, where they rattle their tails when they're either excited, sometimes when they're eating, or when they're maybe a little irritated or nervous. I am trying to use my hand here to show you how big she is, since it's hard to get a perspective. See, she's really small, but she did not like my hand getting close to her. <laughs> and that's the last time I bug you, I promise. But don't worry, this doesn't stress her out too much because she's so preoccupied with her food that she will not let it go for anything. Mexican black king snakes are native to the northern parts of Mexico as well as small portions of Arizona. You can find them in very dry, kind of rocky environments. And where they live in Arizona, they are often hybridized with the California king snake. Most of them are not pure blood Mexican black king snakes. These snakes do not change color. They are just as jet black as adults as they are as younger snakes like she is. By the way, I need a good name idea for this one. I just haven't found the right name for her, so if you have any good ideas, please comment below. She has been a wonderful snake. I got her in a kind of package deal with some other snakes some, some guy was selling, and I wasn't originally planning on keeping her. I just had to purchase her along with the others. But she's really started to grow on me, and I've realized there is quite the demand for Mexican black king snakes right now. So I'm going to raise her up, find a male, and eventually breed them in the future. So in the meantime, I get to just enjoy her company and watch her grow like a weed with how often she's eating. I give her a fuzzy twice a week, and when she gets a little bit bigger, like when she's on small adult mice, then I'll lower her feedings to about just once a week. Despite having such a large appetite, she's actually a really friendly snake. Most Mexican black king snakes are really handleable, especially if you socialize them at a young age, but because of their docile temperaments, usually, they make really good pet snakes. And you can't deny, they are just gorgeous with that patternless black color. Mexican black king snakes also make pretty good pets because they don't get terribly large. They get around the size of a corn snake, and males, like most other species of snakes, do tend to stay smaller than females. So if you're looking for a snake that'll stay around three to maybe three and a half feet, then a male Mexican black king snake would be a great option for you. But there you have it, my Mexican black king snake eating a fuzzy, currently unnamed, but I'm sure you'll have many great suggestions for me, and I look forward to seeing them in the comments. Don't forget to vote for next week's Feed My Pet Friday in the top right corner, and we'll see you then.